Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to replay Warriors Rise to Glory. This is the Steam version that I'm playing this time. Uh, the last version that I played was a closed alpha demo, I think that was back in August of 2017. So obviously the game has changed a bit since I've last played it, but based on what I remember, this is a 2D gladiator turn-based battler. You're going to get a very generic character at the beginning of the game, and then um, through turn-based actions, you're going to try and defeat your opponent, and then using that money, you can level them up, get better equipment, and so on. All right, let's go ahead and have at it. It's worth noting, like I said, this is still a preview build, so everything that you're about to see here is subject to change. It's due out on Steam's Early Access program in about three days as of the date of this recording. So, uh, let's just go ahead and uh, level up my character here. I did play one match off-camera just to get my feet wet again. Um, so there's different attributes. There's strength, agility, attack, defense, endurance, and health. Each one does something different. Um, in the beginning, you can also customize your character look, your appearance. Uh, there's also a skill tree over here. Um, and as I play, I'll be earning these skill points that I can unlock. Arrow to the knee, for example, or open wound. All right, so let's go ahead and take, say, health and endurance. Um, one thing about this, again, being a turn-based game, there is a stamina meter in addition to a health meter. So as you perform actions, you're going to run out of stamina, and there's nothing worse than running out of stamina when you're toe-to-toe -to -toe with your opponent. So I think having more stamina would be a good thing to have. And uh, let's see, plus one kick damage per six points, unlock strength-based weapons, Agility is plus one grid movement per... Okay, let's go ahead and do agility. All right, uh, there are shops. Let's see what I can buy at this point. Not too much. I got 391 silver in the bottom left-hand corner. I've got a shiv. That's about it. Um, I could buy the homeless helmet, the homeless chest, the homeless gloves, the homeless pants. Not too much to the imagination there. Homeless shoes. And then... Um, with more agility, I could get a Tree Slicer, the Butcher, Scorpion Sting, Ancient Ruin, Achilles Blade. Um, these are axes, and these are archery-based weapons. Um, I'm definitely going to want a bow, I think. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of ranged weapons myself, but let's go ahead and, and do armor for right now. You can't go wrong with armor. So uh, this gives me plus 7 armor there. This is plus five, plus four, plus six. Let's go with the plus f uh, seven. We'll buy that. All right, back. And then inventory. There's that. And there's that. Okay. So he's clearly ready, ready for battle at this point. I mean, he doesn't need any more protection than that, I think. That, that's sarcasm, folks. All right, let's go to Duel. There's also a tournament. I did play a hot seat option in the closed alpha. That was pretty interesting, but it looks like this particular version does not feature that. All right, back to Duel. This is the Dust Bull. Uh, it looks like he's got more strength, but everything else is either equal to or lower. So um, I'm just going to have to try and watch myself um, to battle. And I think I may try and turn up the sound a bit because it's very low. Oh, I have to do that after, apparently. Actually, no, there's a settings menu. Uh, nope. That's kind of, I hate when games do that. They restrict your access to the options menu when you're in-game like this. Okay, so I'm on the right-hand side. Enemies on the left there. Um, he's got, let's see, hit chances 22% minus 30%. Damage 4 to 7, crowd thrilling, and stamina. I could rest, excite the crowd... Or charge. Um, I'm going to just excite the crowd. Are you not entertained? Having the crowd on my side is generally a good thing. Um, in the closed alpha version that I played, uh, the crowd would sometimes give you stuff. Let's go ahead and do that again. You can see on the top they're interested, bored. I'm trying to time it so that... Because if I end my turn right next to him, he's going to attack me. I'm going to go ahead and move back one. And if he moves up two... There we go. Now we can attack him. I can do a light attack, medium attack, heavy attack, excite, or rest. I'm going to go ahead and do a medium attack, 63% chance to hit. He dodged it. And he hit me. Ouch. Okay. Um, You've got armor here. I've got four out of seven armor. Um... 
once that's down, I'll have health that he'll have to try and get through. Let's go ahead and do another medium attack. Alright, I dodged that. Luckily, he's almost out of stamina here, so if I can just push it. Nice. Now, sometimes they'll offer me a bribe to spare their life. We'll see what happens. Uh, 113 silver. Yes, I will... If I show them no mercy, I'll get a soul shard. Or I can just take the money. I'm gonna go ahead and take the money. <laughs> Might as well kill him. Alright, I got 359 gold again. And we're getting some XP. Each enemy you slay gives you one soul shard. Once you have collected enough souls... You'll receive one soul point that will be transformed into a permanent attribute and skill point for your future generations. Alright, uh, options, sound, yeah, I want to turn this up. There we go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, duel? Actually, no, let's, let's go shopping again. Um, we'll do the chest... And let's see, these pants. And it's all we can afford. And inventory. So we're going to have lots of armor, but our, our damage is going to be uh, still pretty weak. And I was able to choose my starting stats at the beginning. I chose 2 Strength, 3 Agility, 3 Attack, 3 Defense, I think 3 Endurance, and 3 Vitality. But I leveled those last two up. Alright, uh, I guess we'll duel again. And his Agility is higher than mine, but everything else is either equal to... So, I, yeah, I think we're okay with this. Hmm... Back up. Alright. His agility is almost out already. Uh, let's go with the medium slice. Bam. Dodge. He's down to 44. Okay, let's go ahead and do a heavy. Ooh, missed. You got, there's an energy drink back here. Um, let's try that again. Ah, oh, come on now. Oof. Energy boost. That's not good. Um, let's do a medium attack this time. There we go. Dodge. Ooh, that, that does not look good either. Critical hit. Ooh. Bonus arrow. Alright, uh, let's rest. There we go. Eh. Charge, hit chance, 52%. Oh! Lucked out. What do you want? 95. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, that's gruesome. One skill point. Alright, so I got a skill point and the kick action. Let's go ahead and um, level up again. Um, I like... Let's go ahead and increase our hit chance. I mean, our... The fact that we really can't hit him all that much is worrying me. Alright, so that, that's good. Oh, got a skill point. That's right. So do we want... One Tough Cookie, level 1, 5% damage reduction. Inner Might, 5% uh, increased damage. It's, oh, after resting you cause additional damage each turn. Uh, okay. And this is for range damage. Arrow to the knee. When you hit your opponent in the knee, you ruin his chances of ever becoming an adventurer, crippling him and limiting his movement to one grid only. Uh, critical Strike. Uh, gold Digger, gets additional coins every treasure you pick up in the arena. Charmer, your charm in the arena is impossible to ignore. Ah, I get a cheer bonus at the beginning of each battle. 
that might help me out a little bit. I don't know. I kind of like... I, I don't have any ranged weapons, but I, I do plan to get them at some point. Uh, this is tough. Uh, let's go with the Charmer. If we can get on the crowd's good side, sometimes good things will happen. So, uh, We do have some money. I mean, rejecting that person's uh, offer or bribe won't prevent me from getting money. I just won't get as much of it. Uh, shop. And... Okay, so I still can't really buy any weapons at this point. All right. Um, let's go with the shoes. And I don't remember what... I think it was the gloves. Let's take a look. Yeah, gloves and ranged is what I don't have yet. All right. The gloves will clean me out, and then the next time I'll get a ranged weapon, hopefully. Um, yeah, inventory. There we go. So now we've got a decent amount of armor. Still cold as heck, though. I mean, look. You can at least put a shirt on, for crying out loud. All right. Um, duel. He's got more strength and agility, more melee damage, more range. This is going to get nasty. His attack, though, is pretty low, and his defense is low, so he may not be able to, to land any hits. We'll see. Alright, let's go ahead and excite. Ooh! Excite again. Alright, well, I guess we gotta get in there, then. I think that's a trap of some sort. Blat. Let's try that again. Oh, nice. Alright, we do not want to stay there. Clearly. Not enough stamina. Oh, that's great. Rest on the trap. Oh. Oh, we're, we're gonna die. Um... If I stay here, am I going to get... No, let's go ahead and move over here. Uh, or an, Okay. And I try and push... Oh, there he goes. All right, if I can keep him there... All right, medium. Oh, oh he dodged. Oh. Oh, nice. He got stabbed. I'll take the money. Charge! That was tough. Uh huh. 84? No. I didn't know this, but apparently as you gain favor with the crowd, you also get more money. That's actually kind of nice. All right, let's go to the shop. And I, I like that ranged weapon that he had. I mean, it was a slingshot, of course, but it it was pretty uh, useful. We can harass him at range. I'm going to go ahead and buy that. And I could have sworn we got... Oh, this is... Okay, so whenever a new... Warrior rises that turn. Okay, so basically we're banking points for a future heir, is what that is. So soul shards are thinking for the future long term, whereas money is more immediate benefit. Okay. And we've got 326. I mean, at this point, I don't really know what else I need. Everything else is just, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and equip this then. And let's go ahead and do another duel. All right, so he's got more strength, a lot more strength, 
high defense. So ranged, I think, is going to be the way to go with this, if I can stay away from him to battle. Um. Alright, so how... Oh, switch. He's got the same idea. Power shot, 54% chance to hit. Or normal is 78% chance. Let's go and do normal. He dodged. Dodged. Let's try power. There we go. Ooh. Take that. <laughs> yeah. He's regenerating. Whoa, nice hit. Um, no arrows left. I, I, that means we've got to do... All right, let's go ahead and uh, rest. Oof. All right, let's go ahead and switch. Ah. Movement bonus. This is going to be a problem if I can't... His stamina is almost out, so if I can survive one or two attacks, I might be able to, to capitalize on that. Let's do a, a, a medium. He missed. Oh, good. All right, I'm going to do a heavy here because he's... You know what? Medium. Medium. He cannot counter. He has no stamina. All right. Uh, medium again. Ooh, nasty. Come on, you got this. Um, I can kick him. Does very little damage. Uh, let's rest. Bonus arrow, huh? I only got one, though. Hang in there. Ooh. Not enough stamina. All right, rest. This guy's tough. He's like a tank. Ooh. Oh. Will you show mercy? No. No bribe whatsoever. Okay. Um, we've got 657 silver there, so I'm thinking... An upgrade would be in order, but I don't know if we can... Okay, so we can do, like, a spiked helmet. Again, I want a better weapon, but unfortunately, we don't have the agility required for a lot of this stuff. Or the strength, for that matter. We're going to have to increase strength or agility next to get better weapons. I guess in the meantime, we'll just focus on armor. Whatever the most expensive piece is, it would be the spiked helmet is the most expensive at 5 armor... Actually, that's weird. They've got the same, yeah, like the spike helmet gives me plus five, but so does the spike chest and the spike gauntlets. Spiked pants is plus seven. Let's go with the spiked pants, I think. I'll get the most return on that. And then inventory. Switch these out. And I think we can sell that. Um, here we go. 
Got 197 silver. And we cannot buy anything else at this point. Alright, one more duel. And we'll call it a day. He's got a lot of agility. A lot of defense. So he's very he's very agile and defensive, but it looks like I'm pretty good on everything else here. Can't tell if it's arranged. I think we need to get in close. Okay, wasn't expecting that. I uh, greedy me wants the money. Oh, but I made a mistake. Bonus arrow. I'm gonna rest. Get that stamina back. Oh, he's back to range. Now he's switching back to melee again. Dodged. Ooh, stabby. Dodged again. Ooh, stabby. There we go. Uh, rest. Alright, I'm down. I'm out of armor. Dodged. Dodged. Uh, dodge, nice. One oh nine, sure. Alright, so we got five soul shards and another skill point to assign. Attributes. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade, um, I think some strength-based weapons are in order. We need three points left. Well, here's the thing. Let me go to, I want to see what the shop requires. Alright, this requires four agility. This requires eight strength. So maybe we don't need to put points into strength. Alright, let's stick with agility. Okay. And skill-wise, we've unlocked Professional Bargainer. Uh, okay, so we get a discount on the shop, which isn't bad. Treasure box will now drop additional item. Let's um, reduces incoming range damage. Might be good. Although we don't really get a whole lot of range damage at this point. Those those stones that they shoot via the slingshot only do what three to five damage, if that. Five percent additional damage after resting. That's not. <sighs> light attacks cause light bleeding to your opponent for the next three turns. Interesting. I like that. Dirty shot. Your ranged attacks have a chance to hit your opponent's privates, causing him to use his next turn to tend to his junk. Uh, five percent chance to hit. That's awfully low. And I'd have to spend a lot of points to get there to begin with. Um. Immobilizing at melee range doesn't seem to be all that good, in my opinion. I mean, we could immobilize him, maybe, and then, I guess, take a step back. But immobilizing him, does that prevent him from attacking? Or does it just prevent him from moving? Because he can still attack counterattacks. I don't know if there's an advantage to that or not, besides being able to move back, rest, and then go back in. 
I don't know. Like all of these don't seem to be all that beneficial to me. A lot of it is based on 5% here, 5% there. Um, we do rest. So we'll take that increased damage, but I'm not happy with it, to tell you the truth. All right, we've got 713 silver. We can take the tree slicer. We can also take the tree hugger. You only have money for one or the other. Well, the tree hugger def definitely does more damage. Uh, it's 5 to 7 as opposed to 2 to 4. The tree slicer does 6 to 8 compared to the shivs 3 to 5. You know what? I'm going to... I like my ranged, personally. The woodcutter isn't bad, either. It does 7 and 9 damage compared to 3 to 5, so... And it requires 4 strength, which I do have. Alright, so 7 to 9 damage, 5 to 7, or 6 to 8. And I'm, I'm wondering if these axes are two-handed. Well, I mean, here's the thing. Taking agility has the benefit of giving you, like, as you put points into agility, you can get both a ranged weapon and a melee weapon. Whereas if you point points into strength, or if you want access to axes, you have to put points into both strength and agility. So it's like, that's why I think the axes are a bit stronger. 7 to 9 damage isn't bad. But I, I still I still like... Let's go with the ranged. I, I'm a big fan of ranged weapons. Alright, shop. Oh, inventory. There we go, and we can sell this off. And we've got 404. We can maybe still buy... Um, can we afford... No, we need 458 for that. We can either get it next time, or maybe we can get an armor piece. No, can't get an armor piece either. Alright. So in the next video, we'll try out our new ranged weapon. Uh, if you guys want to see more, let me know. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.